Hello and welcome to another Block Spotlight with me, the most epic one, okay, Mr. Surrett. Today we will be looking at the Powered Furnace. The Powered Furnace is a machine from Thermal Expansion Pack. This is the recipe. It uses redstone in the top middle. The middle sides are your brick blocks. The very centre is a machine frame. The bottom sides, bottom corner, two or a copper ingot each side. And the middle bottom is a redstone reception coil. It looks more complicated than it is. It's actually a relatively simple machine to make. Uh, the brick block is quite simple, just four bricks, which is clay in a furnace. So <laughs> you will need at least a vanilla Minecraft furnace to get going with this. Same with the ingots. The machine frame, probably one of the most expensive parts of this. Iron ingots in your corners, glass in the outside middle spots, glass block, and a gold ingot in the middle. That'll give you your machine frame, which goes in the middle. And the redstone reception coil is redstone in the corners, in two corners, diagonals, and gold ingot in the middle. That'll give you your rece uh, redstone reception coil. Excuse me. Now, the powered furnace obviously is powered. It uses Buildcraft Energy or Minecraft Jewels. This here is one with no power. Powered furnace stores power. 2,400 Minecraft Jewels. That's what it looks like when it is powered. It requires a minimum of 0.5 Micron Joules per tick to operate and a maximum of 2 micro, uh, Minecraft Joules per tick. So you can run this off a relatively basic engine such as a Stirling engine which produce one Minecraft Joule. Quite efficient, quite effective, well maybe not efficient, uses coal but a machine that can be built quite early on as well. So this can be operated very early. One little trip down into the underground and you should be ready to use this. Now we'll have a look at the configuration. Very simple, really doesn't need a great deal of explanation. You've got your power or energy bar, energy stored over here. You have the input and you have the output. And in between you have the progress bar. Input obviously items go in here and the output items come out of here. Doesn't really need much more explaining than that. One of the main reasons I like the powered furnace over any of the other furnaces available is the configuration. This little tab here. This is a great little uh, feature of the powered furnace. And this here is pretty much a diagram of the furnace. Each one of these squares represents a side. You've got the two sides, left and right. The top, bottom and the back. And as you can see, they are colour coded. Each side is colour coded. I can show you the bottom is also colour coded. In this case the bottom is blue. And you can see that that matches up with the input and output. You can change these around and you can see it changes on the block. You can actually set which side is an input and which side is an output just by clicking on these. You can also block it so that that is not an input or an output at all. So you can pretty much, you can have it just an input. You can have just an output and do the manual input or manual output depending on what you like which I think is fantastic. Being able to configure where stuff goes in and out means you can pretty much have this anywhere in your production line. You can use this next to a wall in a corner. You can put it 
just about anywhere as long as you can get to the furnace with two pipes and a power source you can have it hooked up however you want and I absolutely love that feature of the powered furnace as just mentioned pipes do connect your Billcraft pipes do connect to the powered furnace as does the hopper so very easy to be setting up and using um, build the Billcraft pipes are cheap as well just being cobblestone or stone and glass so shouldn't be any problem having this fully operational very early in the game and we have a look at this one of the uses or the reasons to be using this one over the standard traditional furnace is certain items such as food can be cooked much less energy than a traditional furnace uh, quick little look at some of the items through here we'll put in some chicken some raw pork uh, some iron some pulverized copper which you get in the pulverizer funny that now you can see just how fast this furnace is absolutely flying through another thing you'll notice is there is no wooden pipe wooden transport pipe this machine will automatically pump items out straight into the chest very fast for food let's whack some more food in there yeah, let's put it all we'll also whack some gold in there now the food your pork, fish, beef, chicken and potatoes they all use up 40 Minecraft jewels to produce, to cook uh, cactus for example uses 80 and everything else is 160 so it, it's not as thirsty as other, power, other furnaces but um, you still will have to have a bit of power going into it you can see this is barely going down at all in fact it's, it's not, it's pretty steady so yeah that's a look at the powered furnace absolutely flying through even the the um, gold ingots one of my favorite furnaces hopefully you enjoyed, got something out of this if you did like, subscribe and leave a comment and I will see you in the next Block Spotlight. Bye bye.